वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव वर्ल्ड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सॉल्व चैप्टर टू लर्निंग असेसमेंट ई टू पॉइंट सिक्स वाइल सॉल्विंग दिस प्रॉब्लम वी विल बी यूजिंग किर्च ऑफ करंट ला अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस ला ऑल करंट्स एंटरिंग टू अ नोड इज ऑलवेज इक्वल टू करंट्स लिविंग फ्रॉम डेट नोड अकामोलेटिव करंट ऑन एनी नोड इन अ सर्कट इज ऑलवेज जीरो All entering currents to a node in a circuit is always equal to leaving currents from that node. Equation for Kirchhoff's current law is given here. Summation of entering currents minus summation of leaving currents will be equal to zero. Now move towards the problem. Learning assessment E two point six part A. Calculate current I x in given below figure. In this figure we have to calculate the value of current Ix if we observe in this figure currents of all elements are given and it is also asked to calculate the value of current Ix we have to find the value of Ix using the information of other elements that is given in the form of currents we also know that kirchhoff's current law is purely based on currents it contains the information of all currents inside a circuit so we can use here kirchhoff's current law to calculate the value of ix basic equation of kirchhoff's current law is summation of entering currents minus summation of leaving currents will be equal to 0 before we use kirchhoff's current law we have to identify the entering currents and leaving currents on any node in a circuit so in this circuit we have total two nodes This is the first node and this one is second node. This node is considered as a ground or reference node. While other node is taken our point of concern, we will observe all the entering and leaving currents on this node. So, first start with identifying the entering and leaving currents on this node. The current of constant current source that is 44 milliampere is entering towards this node while the current of this dependent source and the resistance current that is Ix are leaving from this node. Now we have identified all entering and leaving currents we can place these currents into this equation 44 milliampere is entering current while Ix and 10 Ix are leaving currents. these both currents have variable ix so they will add together and the equation will become 44 milliampere minus 11 ix equal to 0 for the calculation of ix this variable value is placed on the other hand side of equal and dividing on both sides with 11 we get the value of ix that is 4 milliampere we have calculated the value of current ix we also can calculate the value of this dependent source that is 10 ix so the value of dependent source will be 10 ix place the value of ix that is 4 milliampere so the value of this dependent current source will be 40 milliampere now move towards the next part of this learning assessment part b read the scenario calculate ix and current of dependent source in given below figure this is the figure of part b we have to calculate the value of ix and the value of this current dependent source similar to previous part in this circuit the only information of all elements is given in the form of currents and we also have to calculate the values of currents so we will use kirchhoff's current law to solve this question before we move further we will identify all the entering and leaving currents on any node in this circuit in this circuit we also have two nodes one is this node and the other one is this node this node is taken as a reference or ground node we will observe all entering and leaving currents on this node at this node first current is ix that is leaving from this node second current is 10 ix and this current is entering to this node third current is 120 milliampere and this current is also leaving from this node and the last current is 12 milliampere this current is entering to this node now we have identified all entering and leaving currents on the node we can enter these values into the equation 
to calculate the value of ix place all the entering and leaving currents into the equation these two currents are entering while these two currents are leaving currents rearrange the equation to calculate the value of ix divide on both sides with 9 to calculate the value of ix that is 12 milliampere now we have calculated the value of ix we can easily calculate the value of this dependent current source that is 10 ix so the value of this dependent current source will be 10 ix place the value of ix that is 12 milliampere so the value of this dependent current source will be 120 milliampere so this was learning assessment e2.6 of chapter 2 thank you see you again in next video